Bye. Hey, y'all, <laughs> hey, welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. And I'm Jim. And I've got a broke back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not broke. Uh, if y'all have noticed, we've had a lot of garden work that we've been doing, um, a lot of physical labor, and then last night I stepped the wrong way in my back. Did a little twitch, twitch. And we caught up to him. Yeah, it'll be all right. It'll We're loosen up. Applying the comfrey and hoping that it works. Yeah. So, today's a rainy day. Get set and calm down and mm -hmm. calm down a little bit and you stay inside and just relax but jen and i we can't relax so she was invited into a canning collab yep it's the march madness canning collab very cool play um my friend constance at a good life farm invited me and i was so excited when she did i love being a part of collabs it's not often that we do it we've done two here within the past two months yeah. and it's been very exciting um so we're going to be canning today but I don't want you to just watch this video because we're going to do something clever, something you haven't seen before, but it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a clever thing. I want you to go in the playlist and go watch all the other channels and everything that they're canning because they're coming up with some really cool stuff. A lot of it's teaching you how to can and then mm -hmm. some other people are just doing some really clever recipes that I haven't even thought to do and now they're on my list to do. So make sure that you check it out. And normally on our channel, I feel like you're seeing us pressure can different canning items. Water bath isn't something that we often use, but today you're getting water bath trained. Yeah. Um, so it's a really exciting thing that she has figured out that she wants to can, and this is good for anybody that maybe isn't ready to take that plunge into pressure canning, because water bathing is your, your step in. Yeah, it's a really good place to start if you haven't done it before. Mm -hmm. So first we got our water bath canner out. Now this is specifically, if you go to buy a water bath canner, this is what you're gonna get, say at like Walmart or anywhere. Um, so that's what we're going to use, but you don't have to use a water bath canner. You can just use a really big pot. As long as you've got something in the bottom to keep your jars from going back and forth and hitting each other and um, breaking the bottom, then you're good to go. And what we're going to be using is blueberries. So if you're not new here, you've heard us talk a lot about we moved here my parents moved about an hour from us they bought their first homestead and last year they got a ton of blueberry bushes and there was already some on their property so their blueberries produced like crazy last year they can't eat them all so they've been giving some to us and we've just kind of been getting creative with what we do with blueberries so we're actually going to be making a blueberry syrup and I'm really excited about it because it's really easy. It's something that anyone can do. You don't have to fool with like pectin that you use in jams and jellies and stuff like that. And you don't have to have homegrown blueberries. You can get blueberries on sale at the store and do this at home and it, it makes for a really good syrup. So yeah, like she mentioned, we have been freeze drying a lot of our blueberries yeah. and those are fantastic. It's like, like candy. Yeah, they're like freeze dried fruit is like the most amazing thing in the world, but we have a lot of it. And so we eat a lot of syrup in this family. And that's one thing that is always store-bought. Like, mm -hmm. it, we, she makes homemade pancakes, homemade waffles, and then we're buying great value syrup, Yeah. right? And it just doesn't seem to make its mark. Yeah. Um, so we, we had plans on tapping our maple trees this year. Didn't get around to we it. We have a few. Yeah, we'll shoot for that next year. But in the meantime, this blueberry syrup is gonna be pretty awesome on top of some pancakes. All right, so we're gonna use our pot filler that we never use. We're gonna use it this time because this gets really heavy. So we're gonna get this filled up and get our water blowing while our jars are in the dishwasher, they're being sanitized, then we'll go from there. So when you're water bathing, you want your water to cover your jars by at least one inch. It's different than pressure canning. So that we have to fill it up quite a bit, but not all the way because when you put those jars in there, that water's gonna rise. So this is kind of like the line that I always choose. It's like halfway between the bottom line and the, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> It's a guess, but it usually works. It's just kind of something you have to play around with and figure out. But if you end up not having enough water, you can always add more. Just make sure it comes back to a bowl. And if you have too much, you can just take it out. The only thing I'll add is make the, this is the first thing you do. Because that it yes. takes so long for that water to get hot because it's so much. Do this and then work on everything I always else. do it while my jars are sanitizing so that yeah. that can kind of be done and get it over with. Okay, so for our recipe, we're going to use eight cups of blueberries. So I've already measured that out and I've got that in my bowl and now we're just going to set that aside for a minute. Okay, so first we're going to get our sugar and we're going to get one and a half cups of sugar. You can do more or less if you want more or less sugar. And we're going to put that in first. All right, so the salt is optional. We're going to do it. I'm just going to roughly measure out half of a teaspoon. That's good. 
<laughs> We're just gonna whisk that together really quick. Our heat is not on. All right, now we're gonna put in one and one third cup of water. Now we're gonna add in four tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, now we're gonna stir that all together and whisk it. Just try to get that together and then we're gonna turn our heat on medium high. We've got that whisked together, our heat's on medium high and now we're gonna add in our eight cups of blueberries. We're going to stir those all together and we're going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to keep stirring just to make sure that nothing sticks. We have come to a bowl so now we're going to cook it for two minutes and we're just going to keep stirring. Jen has already gotten her jars sterilized and cleaned and ready to rock. They're hot. I've gotten this off the heat. Now we're going to use our immersion blender. If you don't have one of these in your kitchen, you need one. They're awesome. Um, you can get them off of Amazon for like $20, but I've even found some at Ollie's for like $10. Not all these, Ollie's. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> Big difference. Um, I'll link this one down below if you're just curious, but it's it, we use it for everything. So the goal of this part is two things. One, all those soft blueberries are still in form and you're smoothing them out and you're also thickening the syrup by doing this to the consistency that you want it to be at. Now we're going to add our two teaspoons of vanilla. Also optional, you don't have to, but vanilla is good. Taste test time? Yes, I have to try it. I have to try it. I'm excited about it. Oh my goodness, that's good. That's so Ooh, good. Ooh, that is amazing. That's really good. So, I can see that going on a lot more things than just like using what you would normally use syrup. Yeah. For. Quick note, you're only going to see us do one round, but I think I'm going to do the other round because this is going to be really good. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Babe, it's a good thing you wear that purple shirt. You know why? Oh, oh gosh. I guess. <laughs> I know. I have blueberries all over. <laughs> but it's like a tie dye purple shirt. Yeah. It just it blends right in. No one ever know. What Where's happened? The rest? Where'd it go? I don't know. Oh my goodness. That's <laughs> that's when you've canned a lot in your day. Yep. Another note, you would probably want to do this in the half pint jars, but I didn't have enough. And I think it'll be okay. I think that we'll use it. Yeah, funny, I think so. so too. And to be honest with you, I mean, if you use syrup quite a bit like we do, pint's probably definitely plenty. Actually, I'm pretty sure the little syrup thing you have is probably mm -hmm. about a pint, don't you? Um, but if you're looking to do this as like gifts or something like that, that's when I would do more of the half pints, I think, in my own my own humble opinion. Yep, you're also going to leave a fourth inch headspace. Fourth inch. Oh, no. White that kitchens did. and blueberries. Not a good mixture. So if you were curious, eight cups, what she just did, makes four full pints. So anytime you're canning, you always want to wipe your lids with vinegar, especially when it's sticky like this because you don't want to prevent a seal. And that's why you wipe it, because there was a little residue. And you couldn't see it from the naked eye. It didn't yep. show like it was. Okay, now we're going to do our lids. Fingertip tight. Hey! <gasps> hey, you <laughs> <fire>. <laughs> That would have been the worst thing ever. Yeah, it really would have. have Sticky, stainy mm. blueberry syrup all over the white kitchen. Yep. Oh man, that would have been bad. And thankfully, our water bath cater is ready. So we're gonna put these in. All right, babe, show them the appropriate way to open that lid without burning yourself to death. It's steamy. Mm. Always open it away from you. Okay, now we're gonna get our four pints in. Now, if you had had, um, what do you call them, the half pint jars? Yes. You probably would have had seven or eight. Yeah, I agree. If I mean, if it is truly just double, it would have been eight for you. That was a pretty good guess, babe. Looks like it's right about an inch over. Yep. Okay, and we're back to a boil. So now we're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna let this go for 15 minutes and then it's done. It's that simple. The only thing to emphasize there just a tad bit more is when you're back to a boil. 
Yes. That's when your timer starts. Now, when you put them in and it's just hot, you gotta be able to boil, and then that's when you start your 15 minutes. He's the mess. We're also having lunch, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> we are done, and we're gonna get our jars out. That is beautiful. Mm, it sure is. There you go. It's really that simple. Um, I've got that back going again because we're going to do another round. We're not going to show you that. Same process, but we're going to have eight pints of blueberry syrup from homemade blueberries. Like I said, it does not have to be. Find some on sale, but how cool is that for my mom's farm? And such an easy thing to do, especially if you're just getting into canning. Just go get you some blueberries or any type of berry and try to make a syrup. I think this is probably going to be something that we add to our pantry for good especially with all the blueberries coming in. So now what you do, you just leave them sit here overnight, 24 hours. Um, if you come back in 24 hours and the top is sealed and you can't jiggle it and push it down, then they are sealed. Take your rings off, go ahead and label it, and then store it in your pantry. Um, but just don't touch them for now. Don't, I know they're pretty, you wanna look at them, but just yeah. leave them sit so they can do their thing. So we hope you enjoyed this. We're not a huge jam and jelly fan. Mm -hmm. um, we don't feel like that's something that we want in our pantry very often because we use it so little. Yeah, we're, there's only four of us and it right. takes us a really, a really long time to get through a jar of jelly. Yeah, so this is an alternative for us to be able to use this fresh fruit um, and still can it because we do like to use a lot of syrup. Yes. So this is perfect for us. Hopefully if you've never thought about actually doing syrup, Maybe try to dip your toes into that. Thank you so much to Constance at A Good Life Farm. Make sure you check her channel out. She's awesome. She has great videos. And thank you so much for inviting us to be a part of this. And uh, it's definitely expanded our canning stuff, being able to see what everyone else is doing. It gives you just more variety and things you wouldn't necessarily think about. So thank you a bunch. Yeah, so let us know down in the comments some of the unique things that you like to can. The description for the playlist of everyone else that participated will be down in the description as well. Um, just go check it out. There'll be links to all kinds of different stuff in there. But, fun news. After this one, your next video that you're going to get was back in the garden. The garden is 99% done, and we're ready to show it to you all. We also got a bunch of seeds started, and it's just going to be a good old time. So yeah. stay tuned for that. We love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.